Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use simply two curves uh, to convert it into a series of sections. Okay, the first part we're going to learn uh, is that when we have these two curves, we ha if we project them in the Y direction or the Z direction, uh, we have some extra parts we have to get rid of. So this is for the start of this curve or for example, this one, we have to get rid of these parts. So we're going to talk about the technique. You can do that in Grasshopper. Next, we're going to learn how to use the Kangaroo plugin to give pressure to the mesh. So as you can see here, we can uh, make this inflate using the Kangaroo plugin. So we're going to talk about that. And uh, as you can see here, by changing the curves, it's going to update. So if I make this smaller, this is going to be less inflated here and more inflated at the centers. So we're going to talk about that and how we can use the Kangaroo plugin. Uh, then we're going to talk about how we can convert these into parts and extrude them. So here you can see that we're going to make the sections and then we can give a multiplication which indicates how much we're going to extrude them. So one is going to be a complete extrusion and a smaller number is going to make those ribs a little bit thinner. We are going to also talk about graph mapper and how we can make arc three points instead of kangaroo inflation. So you can see that I can uh, change the pattern by using a graph mapper. So here you can see that I can make a sine wave or I can simply give it a busier distribution and control how much the minimum and maximum arc distance is. So that is also going to be helpful to control those arcs using a graph mapper. If you don't want to use a graph mapper, you can give it one number. So the arc is going to be the same depth for all of those rips. So that is also controllable. But if you want to, uh, you can use a nonlinear distribution for those arcs and make a pattern like this. We can also use an interpolation to define those curves, uh, which is going to make it parametric and it's easier to design the final results. So here you can see that if I use those two curves and give it to the algorithm, by changing the vertices, I can change the final form easily. And that's also useful if you want to uh, really have a parametric output. And instead of designing it in Rhino and using those curves, have a parametric curve, and get the final result. Uh, remember they can always switch between arcs and the kangaroo plugin if you want to make it inflated and get the final results. So let's get started from scratch and learn this step by step. 